please rise for the entrance of the maze and the presiding officer. The 68th regular session of the 18th Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Clan is now called to order. The opening prayer will be led by the Honorable Nemesio Patron Ron, followed by the singing of the National Anthem and the Aklan Hymn. Let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. In the Lord Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. God our Father, as we gathered here today for our 68th regular season, we are asking for your wisdom, your love and abiding presence of your spirit. For your wisdom, teach us about what is truly important in doing legislative measures and give us the courage to do the right thing for the people of Aklan. Your love reminds us that our compassion is not only for those we think deserving, but also for all your children who are in need. Your Spirit empowers us to recognize the ways in which we are blessed and to build a community of learning that is characterized by joy, creativity, and spirit of service. All this we ask in Jesus' name, Amen. In the name of Father, on the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
Acting SP Secretary who will now uh, hold the role. The Honorable Jose Miguel Martin Miraflores. The Honorable J. Eulalio Tejada. The Honorable S. L. Isirio Flores. The Honorable Nelson Delisay Santa Maria. The Honorable Ramon Sukgang Hilito. The Honorable Nemesio Patron Miron. The Honorable Juris Bautista Sucru. The Honorable Emmanuel Subiet Russia Aguirre de la Cruz. The Honorable Harry Cortez Sukgang. The Honorable Emmanuel Labor Sudusta. The Honorable Teddy Corsino Tupas. The Honorable Seriaco Tolentino Feliciano. And the Honorable Blessy Gestro Hismund. Honorable Chair, majority of the members are present. The Honorable Sucro is on sick leave. Uh, thank you for that. Now with the presence of a quorum, we can now officially transact business and uh, consider the, the minutes of the 67th regular session of October 26, 2020. The Honorable S.L. Isario Flores is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, and good afternoon to everyone. I move that the minutes of the 67th regular session dated October 26, 2020 be approved. Any comments, amendments? Hearing none on a motion, duly made and seconded the minutes of the 67th regular session of October 26, 2020 is hereby approved. Now to give way to the reading and awarding of resolution of commendation, session is hereby suspended. Ms. Richie Oloroso is requested to host in the handover ceremony. Good afternoon. Once again, the 18th Sangguniang Panalawigan of Baklan, under the leadership of Vice Governor and Regular Presiding Officer, Attorney Rinaldo Boy Mihar Skimpo, will hand over a resolution of commendation to deserving men and women in uniform. Our commended this afternoon is Malay Municipal Police Station, headed by Police Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Paak Pablito, for having been adjudged as the best municipal police station in Region 6 during, the, during its 119th police service anniversary celebration this year. May I request Police Lieutenant Colonel Pablito, and his, together with his wife, Dr. Sharonda Pablito, to please occupy the center of the session hall while their solution of commendation is being read. May I also request the Honorable L SLL Flores, the main sponsor of this resolution, to, to read its citation. Republic of the Philippines, Province of Aklan, Kalibu Aklan, Sangguniang Panlalawigan, excerpts from the minutes of the 62nd regular session of the 8th Sangguniang Panlalawigan of the Province of Aklan, held on September 21, 2020, at the Sangguniang Panlalawigan Session Hall, Provincial Capitol, Kalibu Aklan. Present, Honorable Rinaldo M. Kimpo, Vice Governor, Regular Presiding Officer, Honorable Jose Miguel M. Miraflores, SP Member. Honorable J.E. Tejada, SP Member. Honorable S.L.L. Flores, SP Member. Honorable Nelson D. Santa Maria, SP Member. Honorable Ramon S. Silito, SP Member. Honorable T.D.C. Tupas, SP Member, PCL President. Honorable Seriaco T. Feliciano, SP Member, President, Liga ng Mga Barangay, and Honorable BCD Hesmondo, SP Member, SK Provincial Federation President. Resolution number 2020-806, entitled A Resolution Commending and Congratulating the Malay Municipal Police Station, headed by Police Lieutenant Colonel 
Jonathan Paak Pabido, Chef Abulis, and the entire roster of personnel under his supervision for having been a judge as the best municipal police station in the Region 6 on the occasion of the 119th Police Service Anniversary Celebration, sponsored by this presentation and co-sponsored by all SP members. Whereas the Philippine National Police celebrated its 119th Police Service Anniversary on August 6, 2020, in commemoration of the establishment of the Philippine Constabulary as the country's first insular police force, founded in August 8, 1901. Whereas during the 119th Police Service Anniversary, police units and individuals in the 17th Regional Offices nationwide with outstanding performances based on the Philippine National Police standard were recognized. Whereas the Malay Municipal Police Station, headed by Police Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Papaglito, Chief of Police, and the entire roster of personnel under his supervision, was recognized as the best Municipal Police Station on contributing immensely to the attainment of the mission and vision of the Police Regional Office 6. Whereas the Malay Municipal Police Station has been successful in ensuring peace and order in mainland Malay and Boracay Island by establishing five police community precincts, or PCP, three of which are located in Boracay Island and two in mainland Malay. It has also one mobile patrol unit and SWAT team. Whereas the Malay Municipal Police Station, noteworthy administrative performance includes ICT management, operationalization of command and control center, personal skills development, facilities development, mobility deployment and maintenance, firearms maintenance, other facilities, many library and fitness facility, and proper deployment, 90% failed and 10% in office. Whereas with utmost education and relentless perseverance, the Malay Municipal Police Station was also cited for its outstanding operational accomplishment arising from the implementation of enhanced managing police operations, which includes anti-illegal drugs of Republic Act 2165, Tukhang and community-based rehabilitation program, Barangay Drug Clearing Program, establishment of police assistance desk, tourist assistance desk, and control of foot and vehicle patrols. Whereas in this time of COVID-19 pandemic, the Malay Municipal Police Station was and is at the forefront in implementing quarantine protocols and operations such as quarantine control point and checkpoints, relief operations, patrolling as the effective means of community quarantine enforcement, social amelioration program and social pension distribution, adopt a family program, assistance to stranded tourists and workers, Libring Sakai, Recorida, Bayanian Fund Challenge, and daily incident management report. Whereas one of the core strength of the Mali Municipal Police Station is the Police Community Relation, or PCR, which is continuously being harnessed to, na to navigate the numerous interests of stakeholders while being, while being faithful to its mandate. PCR activities of Malay includes outreach, feeding programs, community dialogues, media engagement, online engagement lectures, to include DARE, Advisory Council, multi-sectoral engagement, engagements with Muslim Zalam, search and rescue, relief operation, force multipliers, anti-drug abuse council, kabataan contra druga at terrorismo, and community-based rehabilitation program. Whereas as Malay Municipal Police Station demonstrates exemplary performance in the maintenance of peace and order and in reaching out to the public, it is very fitting enough to give due recognition to the men and women in uniform for their outpouring support, passion and dedication to their duty, and their continuous and unrelenting effort in pushing through with community services and other related government programs. Whereas the citation received by the Malay Municipal Police Station 
will serve as their inspiration in performing their daily task while risking their own lives and responding to the call of their duties and responsibilities in the community, in their family, and the people in general. Whereas it is but fitting to commend the Malay Municipal Police Station and its other personal complement for the untiring efforts in maintaining peace and order in the community and get closer to the people and work with them harmoniously for their peace, safety, and security and betterment of the Malayans and all Aklanons as well. <clears throat> now, therefore, be it resolved as it is by resolved by the Sangreng Panarigan of the province of Aklan in session duly assembled to command and congratulate the Malay Municipal Police Station headed by Police Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Park Pablito, Chief of Police, and the entire roster of personnel under his supervision for having been a judge as the best municipal police station in the Region 6 on the occasion of the 119th Police Service Anniversary Celebration. Let a copy of this resolution be furnished to the Philippine National Police Director General, Lieutenant General Camilo Pancratius Cascuran, Police Brigade General Renipi Pamuspuzan, Regional Director PNP Region 6, Police Colonel Esmeraldo Osha, General Provincial Director, Aklan PNP Pro Provincial Office, and Police Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Pak, Pablito Chief of Police, Malay Municipal Police Station. Approved September 21, 2020. Certified to the correctness of the foregoing resolution by Yusuf Elena S. Martin, Local Legislative Staff Officer 4, Acting Secretary to the Sangunian. Attested, Attorney Ronaldo M. Kimpo, Provincial Vice Governor, Regular Presiding Officer, and approved Florencio T. Miraflores, Provincial Governor. Congratulations. May I request the Honorable Vice Governor, Attorney Boy Meharis Kimpo, together with the members of the 18th SP, to hand over the resolution of commendation to our command. <coughs> This, at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Malay Municipal Police Station, may we hear a re short response from Police Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Paak Pablito, the Chief of Police. To the esteemed members of the Sangguni Ang Panlalawigan of Aklan, led by Vice Governor Attorney Reynaldo Kimpo, Sir, Mayad nga hapon. With me is my uh, beautiful wife, uh, Dr. Sharonda Abriam Pablito. Back in September, uh, my family was granted refugee status, or uh, let's say LSI, apo? status by Governor Miraflores and Mayor Bautista. My family is witness to the kindness of the people of Aklan. In behalf of the men and women of Malay Police Station, abo nga salamat, especially to SB SL Flores, who sponsored this bill. Hand in hand with residents, workers, and even tourists, we have maintained zero local COVID transmission in Boracay. We feared that we will be ground zero of COVID-19, considering that Boracay was a high-density tourist destination with thousands of visitors, 
even from China. We also feared that there will be a spike in robbery and theft. By God's grace, we have only three cases of theft. Most of them are shoplifting and zero case of robbery for this whole year. Even as Boracay has reopened, we recognize the enormity of the task. Boracay has contributed 20% to the Philippine tourism economy, 56 billion pesos annually, providing livelihood to thousands of Aklanons. As we reopen, we remain true to our mission to protect the people of Malay, the people of Aklan, from criminality, terrorism, and COVID-19. For this recognition, again, Abo nga salamat. Uh, we shall now return to the order of business. Session is here by Rushum. for the proposed uh, provincial enactments and finished business, the Honorable uh, Nemesha Patron Ron is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. This pertains to unfinished business, proposed provincial enactments, legislative, legislative inquiry, on boat transport scheduling going to and from Boracay. And this was referred to the Committee on Energy, Public Utilities, Transportation and Communication, and the Committee on Tourism, Arts and Culture, which conducted a committee hearing on October 27, 2020, and recommended to pass a resolution entitled a resolution requesting the Philippine Coast Guard to create and lead a technical working group which will be composed of all concerned sectors to craft protocols and guidelines governing the use of the Katiklan and Kagban Jeti ports and the alternate Tabon and Tambisan ports in transporting passengers bound to and from Boracay Island. As per committee report number, 2020-2020. Noble Chair, uh, please permit me to read the committee report number 2020-2020. Uh, uh, for record purposes, Noble Chair. Uh, please proceed, Honorable Nero. And I understand, Noble Chair, that uh, this committee report number 2020-2020 every member of this August body has been provided of uh, copies of the same. So can I go directly to the findings of this uh, uh, committee report number 2020-2, honorable chair. A recommendation rather. Direct to recommendation, honorable chair. Uh, please proceed, honorable Ron. Honorable Chair, this committee report number 2020-2022 has uh, six uh, findings. And as what I've said earlier and requested uh, the Mr. Chairman, Your Honor, that I will be reading only the recommendation with the report. Recommendation of committee report number 2020-2022. It has been recommended by the joint committee hearing to pass a resolution requesting the Philippine Coast Guard to establish a technical working group engaging all concerned and involved sectors for the formulation of protocols and guidelines for CCRAPS operators to follow while plying the, the mainland 
Tuburatay Road, Maya de Katiklan das Kagban, Antabon das Tambisaan Seaports, depending on weather condition. And with that, Tubor Chair, I, I move for the adoption of Committee Report Number 2020-202. I so move, Mr. Honorable Chair. Uh, there is a motion for the adoption of Committee Report Number 2020-202. Any objections? Hearing none, the same is hereby adopted. May I continue, Mr. Chair? Uh, please proceed, Honorable Naron. As an offshoot of uh, the adoption of this committee report number 2020-202, there is a proposed ordinance, a resolution rather, sponsored by Honorable Isele Flores, Honorable Emiso Pineron, Honorable Emmanuel Solusta, Honorable J. Tejada, Honorable Emmanuel Sobita de la Cruz, and also Honorable Juris Bisokro. As, as what I said earlier, Honorable Chair, that there is a recommendation for the passage of this resolution, I did move that a resolution requesting the Philippine Coast Guard to create and lead the technical working group, which will be composed of all concerned sectors to craft protocols and guidelines governing the use of the Katiklan and Kagban Jetty ports and the alternate Tabun and Tambisan ports in transporting passengers bound to and from Boracay Island. I understand, Mr. Chair, that every member of this August body has been provided copies of this uh, proposed resolution. So, if there is no reactions, comment, Mr. Chair, I did move for its approval. I so move, Mr. Chair. Any objections? Hearing none, all are in favor on motion, duly made and seconded. The same is hereby approved. Next item, we come to new business. The Honorable uh, Jose Miguel Martin Miraflores is recognized. Thank you, Your Honor. Under new business, item number one is the urgent request of Governor Florencio T. Miraflores for an authority to enter into a memorandum of agreement with the Tourism Promotion Board Manila governing the location of 10 million pesos intended for the implementation of the project RT-PCR testing for hospitality and tourism worker in Boracay Island. I am pleased to inform this body honor that this is actually a commitment by Secretary Puyat of the Department of Tourism to help the Boracay workers in uh, getting their RT-PCR. So they have allocated 10 million pesos for 2,500 testing kits. And I'm also happy to report, Your Honor, that the money has already been downloaded and they are awaiting the MOA coming from our governor. So if there's no uh, inquiry questions, Your Honor, I move to approve and grant the authority for the Governor Florencio T. Flores for an authority to enter into a memorandum of agreement with the Tourism Promotion Board Manila governing the allocation of the 10 million pesos intended for the implementation of the project RT-PCR testing for hospitality and tourism worker in Boracay. I so move, Your Honor. Any objections? There being none, motion carried, and the requested authority is hereby granted. Thank you, Your Honor. Next item, the Honorable Neron. Item number two, new business. Urgent request of Governor Florencio Timor Flores for approval and adoption of the Ackland Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management and Climate Change Adaptation Strategic Plan 2021-2023. Number Chair, I move that 
the sergeant request of our uh, beloved governor, Mara Flores, be referred to the Committee on Disaster Preparedness and the Committee on Environment. I so move, no, Mr. Chair. Laws, and then laws, no, Mr. Chair. Three committees, no, Mr. Chair. Committee, committee on Disaster, Committee on Laws, and Committee on Environment. I so move, no, Mr. Chair. Any objections? Hearing none, the same is hereby approved to refer the matter to the three mentioned committees. Now we come to municipal enactments under uh, review by this Sangunian. The Honorable Flores. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Unfinished business. Item 1, enactments of Batan, letter A, an ordinance number 2020-07, entitled an ordinance amending the organizational structure, operation, management, and supervision of the Batan Integrated College of Technology. This was referred to the committees on lost roles and ordinances in the Committee on Education, which conducted the committee hearing on October 26, 2020, and recommended that be declared valid and operative this under committee report number 2020-196. So I move for its approval, Mr. Chair. Any objections? Hearing none on the motion, Julie made the second ordinance number 2020-07 of the municipality of Batan is hereby declared valid and operative. Next item, the Honorable Naron. Enactment of Calibo, Honorable Chair, and enactment uh, under unfinished business. Ordinance number 2020-019. Entitled Ordinance Regulating the Operations of Tricycles in the Municipality of Calibo within the period of the declared community quarantine and fixing new fair rates in response to COVID-19 pandemic. Honorable Chair, this was referred to the Committee on Energy, Public Utilities, Transportation and Communications, and the Committee on Laws, Rules, and Ordinances, which conducted a committee hearing on October 26, 2020, and recommended that it be declared valid and operative as per committee report number 2020-195. With that, Mr. Chair, I move that enactment of Calibo, ordinance number 2020-019, be declared valid and operative. I so move, Mr. Chair. Any objections? Hearing none. Ordinance number 2020-019 is hereby declared valid and operative. May continue, Mr. Chair. Please proceed, Honorable Naron. Enactment of LISO, Ordinance number 15 series of 2020, an ordinance establishing the routes of the sand and gravel trucks plying within the territorial jurisdiction of the municipality of LISO Aklan from the quarry site and stack file and stockpile area and imposing other rules and regulations pertinent thereof. This was uh, referred to the Committee on Energy, Public Utilities, Transportation and Communication, which conducted a committee hearing on October 27, 2020, and recommended that the withdrawal of the said ordinance be noted as per committee report number 2020-198. I then move to note the withdrawal of said the enactment of this ordinance number 15 series of 2020 noble chair. I so move noble chair. Thank you noble chair. Yes, the, the withdrawal of ordinance number 15 series of 2020 of the municipality of Leso is hereby noted. Next item, the Honorable Mayor Flores.
Thank you, Your Honor. Still in documents of lesso, item B is Ordinance Number 20, Series of 2020, entitled an Ordinance Authorizing the Local Chief Executive, Honorable Mary Rilnet Rescate Fernandez, to augment the following. Number one, the Ligtas COVID-19 Center Facilities and Frontliners and Community Protection, amounting to 535,000 pesos. Number two is the equipment, supplies, and other related expenditures for COVID-19 amounting to 50,880 and 80 centavos, with a total amount of 585,880 and 80 centavos for food assistance and other relief, goods, fuel, oil, and lubricants from the Office of the Municipal Mayor, Bayanihan Grant. This was referred to the Committee on Appropriations, Budget and Finance and Ways and Means, and the Committee on Laws, Rules, and Ordinances, which conducted the committee hearing on October 27, 2020, and recommended that it be declared valid and operative as per Committee Report Number 2020-199. I dare so move, Your Honor, that it be declared valid and operative. Any objections? There being none, Ordinance Number 2020, Series of 2020, is hereby declared valid and operative. Thank you, Your Honor. Next item. The Honorable uh, J. Yulal Yutihada is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And next item is uh, an ordinance originating from the municipality of New Washington. This is ordinance number 2020-19, entitled an ordinance amending municipal ordinance number 2020-4, entitled an ordinance abolishing the vacant position of local assessment officer four, salary grade 22 in the office of the municipal assessor and creating the position of municipal government assistant department head one salary grade 22 slash one in the office of the municipal assessor this municipality by including in the position nomenclature of municipal government assistant department head one its parenthetical title of assistant municipal assessor one this ordinance was referred to the committee on human resource and the members of the committee conducted a hearing on October 27, 2020, and based on committee report number 2020-200, it is hereby proposed to pass a resolution in this plenary today that this ordinance be declared valid and operative. So I move, Mr. Chair. Uh, it has been moved and duly seconded to declare valid and operative Ordinance number 2020-19 of the Municipality of New Washington. Any objections? Hearing none, motion carried. The same is hereby approved. Next item, the, uh, the Honorable Mira Flores. Enactments of Tangalan is Ordinance Number 2020-149, entitled an ordinance providing a one-time vulnerability assistance of 5,000 pesos to RHU personnel, Human Resource for Health, MDRRMO personnel, and other LJU personnel directly involved in the management of the locally stranded individuals, returning overseas Filipinos, suspected, probable, and confirmed COVID-19 cases, in this time of COVID-19 crisis and appropriating funds thereof. This was referred to the Committee on Appropriations, Budget and Finance and Ways and Means, which conducted a committee hearing on October 26, 2020, and recommended that it be declared valid and operative as per Committee Report Number 2020-197. And there's so move, Your Honor, that it be declared valid and operative. Any objection? Hearing none, the same is here by declared valid and operative. Thank you, Your Honor. Now we come to new business. The Honorable uh, Ramon Sokangilito is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. This refers to budgets. Letter A is Burwanga, Supplemental Budget Number 3 for calendar year 2020. There are two enactments. Number one is Resolution Number 82, Series of 2020. And number two is Appropriation Ordinance Number 03, Series of 2020. 
With these two enactments, Mr. Chair, I move that this be referred to the Committee on Appropriations, Mr. Chair. Motion to refer granted. Letter B is Supplemental Budget Number 2 for Calendar Year 2020 of the Municipality of Libacao. There are three enactments. Number one is Resolution Number 038-20. Number two is Resolution Number 053-2020. And number three is Appropriation Ordinance number 007-20. With these three enactments, Mr. Chair, I move that this be referred to the Committee on Appropriations. Granted. Letter C is Supplemental Budget number three for calendar year 2020 of the Municipality of Madalag. Number one is Resolution number 2020-056. Number two is Resolution number 2020-058. And number three is Appropriation Ordinance number 2020-003. These three re re enactments, Mr. Chair, I move that this be referred to the Committee on Appropriations. Yeah. Granted. Letter D is Ibahai. Supplemental Budget number four for calendar year 2020. Number one is Appropriation Ordinance number 04 series of 2020. I move that this be referred again to the Committee on Appropriations, Mr. Chair. Granted. And lastly is the supplemental budget number two for calendar year 2020 of the municipality of Numancia. There are two enactments. Number one is resolution number 145, series of 2020. And number two is appropriation ordinance number two, series of 2020. I move that these two enactments be referred again to the Committee on Appropriations, Mr. Chair. Granted. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Now for uh, enactment of Balete, the Honorable uh, Nelson Dalisa is Santa Maria is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Still under the new business from the Municipality of Balete, uh, this pertains to the Special Ordinance Number 012-2020, uh, an ordinance entitled, An Ordinance Amending the New Normal health protocols in the municipality of Balite Aklan. I move that this be referred to the Committee on Health and Social Services and the Committee on Laws, Rules, and Ordinances. So I move, Mr. Chair. Granted. The Honorable Tejada. This time we have uh, the enactment originating from the municipality of Calibo and this is all about a request for endorsement for application to quarry sand and gravel permit for commercial purposes of Mr. Adolfo M. Garcia along the Aklan River in Barangay Tigayun, Calibo Aklan and based on the documentation submitted to the Sangunian, this is endorsed by the Barangay Council of the Barangay Tigayon through resolution number 12, series of 2020. And this uh, application is also endorsed by the Sangguniang Bayan of Calibo through resolution number 2020-508. For more assessment and evaluation before appropriate endorsement by the Sangguniang Panaluigan, I move for its referral to the Committee on Environment. So I move, Mr. Chair. Granted. Uh, now we come to unassigned business or uh, other matters. The Honorable SL Lizario Flores is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. This is an assigned business, uh, other matters, Mr. Chair. So I'd like to ask her permission, Mr. Chair, from the, the plenary to, to conduct a, uh, an off-site uh, committee hearing as well as the committee of the whole, Mr. Chair with the SB members of Malaya's Committee of the Hall also, which will be on October, uh, November 6, 2020. So I move, Mr. Chair. If there is no objection, the authority requested is hereby approved. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Anything else? I would like to request the Honorable Seriaco. Tolentino Feliciano for the Thanksgiving prayer.
Let us bow our heads and put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for the ideas that you spoke life into her today. And for the courage of its voice that stood to be heard. Bless us, Lord, as you leave her today. To take your passion with us. Pan its flame after we part and inspire our best contributions. Remind us always of your love as we our plans unfold and accomplish the goals we set here today. Help us to walk faithfully and personally after Christ. Reflecting, reflecting his love, may we always lift our progress up to you, who holds the honor and the glory for who we are and what we do. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Uh, session is here by adjourn. May we request our board members for the photo opportunity with our um, financial assistance to our employees.